Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on geography, environmental geography and several other aspects of geography as well. So in today's session, we are going to learn about environmental conservation and management aspect. Now before we have already talked about environmental degradation, so in this session, we are going to understand the key aspects, the objectives, the need for management and also how to execute, what are the important aspects in this. So before we go ahead into the environmental management and conservation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do share the videos with others as well. So now let's understand the concept of environmental management and conservation. So what is this environmental management and conservation and earlier we have already discussed about environmental degradation. So now this environmental management and conservation is the need of the hour. So this environmental management involves the management of all components of biophysical environment, both living component as well as the non-living component. So remember biotic and abiotic component together make this entire ecology and environment. So this is due to the interconnected networks that we are talking here, the network of relationships among all living things and their habitats that's important, right? So we have to manage everything if you're talking about environmental management, not just living component, but also non-living component at, at the same time. So environment also involves relationship of human environment, such as social, cultural and economic environment with biophysical. So remember, social, cultural, economic environment as well as the biophysical environment. All these relationships combined together is forming the main aspect of environmental management and conservation. Now let's elaborate and understand what are the various aspects of environmental management and conservation, what are its objectives and how we can achieve it through what measures. So first important point, let's look at this environmental management that is subject, it combines science, policy and socio-economic applications. So this is three key words that you should remember. The combination of science, that is we say science and technology, the policy framework right, of the government and the socio-economic applications of these concepts. That's important. So it primarily stresses on what? Finding a solution, right? It's not just in the books. It is talking about finding an actual solution to all the practical problems that people are facing right, in cohabitation with nature, natural resource exploitation, waste generation, all these things that we discussed in the environmental degradation aspect. So if you have not watched the lecture on environmental degradation before this lecture, do watch it so that you can relate it to the management and conservation aspects. So basic idea is that purely this management aspect is what it's completely anthropocentric approach, humanistic approach, completely human centered approach because we are talking about management in terms of our own benefits. We are talking about management because we are dependent upon natural resources, right? So if the resources are not well managed, it will not be there for a longer time for us to survive, to live, right? So that's where the point is, that is completely anthropocentric sense. And environmental management is all about dealing with the fundamental issue of how to innovate technology, because we always say that technology is the only solution, right? So how to innovate those technology to evolve continuously while limiting the degree to which the process alters the natural environment. So not affecting the environment to that extent where it is not regenerative, where it is completely gone. So we should not put pressures on environment to that extent. Rather, we should try and innovate different technologies for the betterment, better management and conservation practices that we're talking here, right? So that's important. Now, look at the characteristics and features of environmental management. Here are the six points. If you can read it, you can pause the video and read it yourself. So it deals with world affected by humans now it is purely anthropocentric it supports sustainable development so we are talking about sdgs right then it demands a multidisciplinary approach now here is one important point that you must address a little more clearly when we say multidisciplinary it means not just one subject or one discipline is responsible for the management it has to be knowledge coming from various aspects knowledge of geography knowledge of sociology knowledge of anthropology knowledge of sciences coming together that's why it's an umbrella concept Remember, multidisciplinary approach is going to be a big thing in terms of solving the issues and challenges of environment. 
that's important and it has to integrate different development viewpoints now remember somebody has a viewpoint of capitalistic mode of development somebody thinks about socialistic mode of development somebody thinks about a mixed mode of development now remember there has to be a balance between all of these right no one can just be importantly satisfying the society there has to be the complementarity involved between all the modes of development and their viewpoints right if we want to develop in a way we want to keep in pace with the nature not influencing the nature to an extent where it goes completely extinct then we need to understand that we must have an integrative approach we must integrate different viewpoints also that's important because if we reject one viewpoint we'll be missing the important aspects of that particular viewpoint right so that's why it is an integrative approach and it concerns with short term as well as long term planning not just short term goals like sustainable development goals we have so many goals till 2030 then we also have certain goals for 2050 that's important so sustainable development goals if you look at or short term goals and long term goals we must have both of them and as also at different scales that we must understand from local scale to regional scale to global scale we must address all these important planning aspects at all the scales there are certain local problems there are certain global problems and accordingly we must understand the solutions about it right that's important characteristic then it seeks to integrate natural and social science together and that's where geography as a discipline becomes really important why because geography is the only discipline which has both science as well as humanities combined together fused together physical and human geography fused together this dichotomy or what we say is this dialectic nature of geography makes it very suitable for actually making a great environmental management planner right so remember if you want to really environmental so remember if you want to really manage your environment well you must have the knowledge of geography because it integrates natural sciences and social sciences together then accordingly we can make policy and planning and execute it right so that's where all these important characteristic feature of environmental management are there and that's where all the disciplines stand all the viewpoints stand human beings role all these things are important now let's talk about this particular diagram here environmental management and its various components so ecology earth sciences atmospheric science water science climate change society and culture environmental law is very important environmental assessment then you have mitigation and monitoring management practices waste management sustainability practices look at all these facets look at all these attributes this diagram is very crucial to understand in one diagram you can explain the entire environmental management and its inter or multidisciplinary approach multi viewpoint approach right so all the things are fused together then only environmental management can take place so environmental management is a response to human actions considering increasing seriousness and significance of today's disastrous human impact that is happening on natural ecosystem all around the world right so simply environment acts as a source of raw materials inputs to the industrial process and as a sink to the waste so remember environment is such a selfless thing that it gives you all the raw materials and it takes back all the waste materials that we give them so we must have this gratitude we must understand this stewardship towards environment these are the important things so remember the words gratitude and environmental stewardship these two words are important in terms of management thought process right that environment gives us everything and takes back our all polluted aspects waste outputs so that's important to understand in terms of management aspect then why do we take management i'm sure you must by now is already clear that why is there a need so cost saving ensuring legislative compliance anticipating future legislation reduced environmental risk meeting supply chain requirements improved relations with regulators improved public image increased marketing opportunities employment enthusiasm remember these are all aspect of management we have just added the word environmental here same management aspect is coming to the environmental sector now because environment is now become a commodity it's become a substance of use like any other commodity or product that's why we have legislations associated to it cost savings relations with regulators relations in terms of public appearances and images and the way we are using it for example the concept of green building five star acs why do you want to have that right 
the concept of LEDs and production of all those important uh, uh, equipments that use less electricity. So these are the things that we understand it is all market oriented now. It is all consumer oriented now. So these are the important things that we must understand about undertaking environmental management related to this particular framework of the management and economics and commerce. That's important. And then main objectives are to prevent and solve environmental problem, to establish limits of usage of resources, to develop research institutions and monitoring systems, to warn threats and identify opportunities, to suggest measures of resource conservation, to develop a strategy for improvement of quality of life. Remember, we are talking about quality of life and Human Development Index incorporates it. Happiness Index also incorporates quality of life. So to suggest long-term and short-term policies for sustainable development and also to identify new technology for sustainable development, that is where we say the scope for or innovation right that's what is the main important objective right now let's look at the approaches in what ways we can approach to the environment sector in terms of management so approach basically is the route that we follow the way we look at the management aspect so one is the spatial approach or we say geographical approach it means at the different scales at local level at regional level at global level if you look at multi-level planning in india from village panchayat level to the center right through districts subdivisions state and center right so different spatial scales then ecological units if you want to take so conservation aspects and preservation aspects we already talked in the previous lectures in biogeography as well as environmental geography right then strategic approach means top-down approach, right? It means that the priority would be given to who? Bottoms or the top? Who are the people at the top and who are the people at the bottom? So let's talk about the stakeholder approach because they are going to participate here. So strategy is building. Then we have preservative approach and conservative approach. So preservation means protecting them. Nothing goes inside. They are protected in their own scenario. But conservation is intake and outcome both of the things happening together but at a sustainable level so these are the things these are the approaches that are important here and fundamental concept of environmental conservation involves the protection preservation management and restoration now remember these four key words these four key words are going to be very important in terms of environmental conservation if we take protection preservation management or restoration of environment that is important here then awareness of environment so remember we say that a conscious society will always be protective towards environment so how you make your society conscious of it aware of it that what is important how to behave in what ways to practice our things around right so environmental issues required us to take a broader perspective right cumulative effect of individuals effort no one person or no one community can take the entire load of environmental management it's everybody's duty it's a fundamental duty to protect nature, right? So remember, this is important here. And it is vital that each of us adopt sincere attitude towards environmental laws, right? By efforts to reduce environmental impact, regulations governing waste, regulations governing chemicals, pollution prevention. All these things are for every individual to actually follow. That's important to remember here. Now, let's talk about some things about public awareness for conservation of environment. So, at school level, I'm sure you must have seen many green drives, environmental drives, tree plantations happening, and students being talked about in terms of World Environment Day and certain other days that are being celebrated, Biodiversity Day, for example. Then, the relevance of real life situation of environment at secondary school level. So, at primary school level, smaller children. Then, they grow up at secondary school level. They understand the environmental problems in a better way. So, they can think about it in terms of real life situations. Then, comes the management of natural resources at senior secondary school. So, they can take up this kind of study public awareness programs and environmental issues and sustainable development link together at college and university levels. So what do you do here at college and university level? We have various societies, various awareness program, through mass media, through establishment of eco clubs. Remember under this program, 70,000 eco clubs are already set up across India, more than 150 schools district wise. And National Green Corps, a movement of eco-friendly children has already been spreading awareness throughout. Now, establishment of green belts in many areas and also celebration of Van Mahotsava and other areas like roads and railways protection, complex protection. Then you have campaign through state transport. 
right? So you see all the straight transport on which you have many slogans written, awareness slogans written, public buildings where you see slogans written and awareness programs being highlighted in terms of planting trees, greening the society, not littering around, not throwing the garbage in open. All these programs are run by government, by NGOs, by civil society, by many public workers and also many private players. Corporate social responsibility is also playing a role in the advancement in terms of the investment of money in these sectors related to environment. So that's important in terms of management and conservation as well. So now when we have discussed already about the various aspects of environmental management, environmental conservation, so in the sessions to come we'll be talking more on other aspects of environment. So stay tuned, stay safe, all the best.